The race for 2020, the high stakes debate, debate tonight, the war of words between Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Did Sanders say a woman could not win the presidency? Joe Biden set to stand right in the middle of them tonight amid two new polls, one showing Bernie Sanders leading, the other Joe Biden leading. Elizabeth Warren and Pete Buttigieg very close behind. What does this all show? Very high stakes tonight. Lindsey Davis from Des Moines. Bernie Sanders arriving today at the debate hall in Des Moines. Elizabeth Warren checking out the podium. Iowans bracing for the clash of the liberal titans. I hope Bernie reconsiders and turns his campaign in a different direction. The de facto non-aggression pact between the two progressive senators seems to be out the door. Warren now charges that when she and Sanders met in 2018 to discuss the election, he told her a woman can't win. Among the topics that came up was what would happen if Democrats nominated a female candidate, Warren says. I thought a woman could win. He disagreed. Sanders firing back. It is ludicrous to believe that at the same meeting where Elizabeth Warren told me she was going to run for president, I would tell her a woman couldn't win. Do I believe a woman can win in 2020? Of course. Today, even one of their former rivals weighed in. Oh, a woman can be president. <laughs> of that, I'm sure. Warren is also seizing on reports that Team Sanders is telling voters her chief supporters are highly educated, more affluent people, not the blue collar voters needed to beat Donald Trump. I was disappointed to hear that Bernie is sending his volunteers out to trash me. Sanders claims he had nothing to do with it. I have never said a negative word about Elizabeth Warren, who is a friend of mine. With the progressives tussling, the moderates in the field are looking to rise above and break away from the pact, with those first crucial votes now just days away. All the polling data that I've read and seen uh, is, it's all, you know, it, it, it's a toss up. So let's get to Lindsay Davis. She's live from Des Moines tonight. And Lindsay, the stakes even higher tonight to try to break through for these candidates just about two and a half weeks now before the Iowa caucus is hard to believe because some of these candidates are actually going to be needed in Washington. They're going to be taken off the campaign trail for the Senate impeachment trial. That's right, David. Three of the six candidates, in fact, that are going to be on the stage tonight, they're going to need to be back in D.C. for that impeachment trial six days a week. As a result, they're considering a number of options, of course, leaning heavily on their surrogates, potentially doing some town halls by teleconference, and even potentially flying back and forth on some weeknights in order to make it back in time for trial the next morning. David. Crazy couple of weeks ahead. Lindsay Davis, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.